Artificial intelligence, one of the most exciting talked about subjects of our era. So exciting that according to the World Economic Forum, it will increase our global economy by $16 trillion by 2030. To put that in perspective, the Western civilization hasn't even existed for one trillion seconds. But did you know that there are so many researchers warning us that AI could be an existential threat to humanity? Now, the conversations about the danger of AI are like climate change. There are some very strong supporting and some very strong opposing views about it. And this has created a confusion. So I dedicated the last two years of my life to bring clarity into the discussion of such important issue. To begin with, I started looking for evidence to understand why is AI perceived to be a dangerous technology. I studied everything from the history of it, from where it all began to where it is now. And I realized something quite interesting. I realized that since the big tech giants and disruptive startups started using AI to generate profit, everyone else seems to have started following them. It's like a fashion trend. A celebrity starts it somewhere, and everyone else just starts to follow, whether it suits them or not. And this blind following has made AI into an investment dumping ground, one that's forecasted to be $38.5 billion US in 2019. So the next thing that made me curious was to see if you're doing enough to make sure this technology is safe for our future. So leveraging a quantitative research methodology and using some search queries, I went through the biggest database of published academic papers called Scopus to understand what percentage of entire publications in AI is dedicated to regulatory, health and safety, and ethics. And to have something to compare it with, I brought nuclear energy into the mix because it's another tool that can be as destructive or as beneficial as AI. The results? were shocking, because we only spent 10% of our entire studies in AI dedicated to these three topics compared to that of 20% in nuclear energy with the difference that no one can create an atomic bomb in their kitchen, but anyone can create a destructive AI algorithm in their bedroom. So we are spending so much money on something so powerful without investigating how it could go wrong. So I conclude that yes, AI is a dangerous technology, and yes, it could be an existential threat to humanity, but we are at a point in the history that we can change the future. So I'll leave you with one question. Will we act before it's too late? Thank you.